Dory 1, this is Fire Team Delta. Dad's coming home. Welcome to the Military Veteran Dad Podcast, where it is our mission to bring every dad home. I am your host, Ben Colloy. I'm a United States Marine veteran, husband, and a father. We will bring authentic conversations to inspire action in your life so we can close the gap between the dad you are today and the dad you want to be tomorrow. This is the Military Veteran Dad Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of Fatherhood Friday. It is amazing week because guess what, guys? I just wrapped up 75 hard on Sunday and I felt absolutely amazing from it. Without a better way to kind of figure out what next, I've just decided to keep going. So today is almost five days after it, so it's almost day 80. But I'm going to keep going because like I said before, I haven't quite reached the health goal and the weight goal that I'm at. So I want to just keep going because this tool has helped me get there and I want to keep going on this journey to really get to a point where I've never been before. And so I'm excited to keep going. Not necessarily saying I'm on 75 hard anymore. I've completed that process. I've completed that journey, but I'm on my journey to kind of refigure out how to take all of the lessons learned and incorporate them into my life. And this past week, I was doing something outside and it hit me that there was a lesson. And I'm not even sure how this came about, but it's just how my brain works. But there's a hidden lesson in the story of the three little pigs. And so the three little pigs is a story that most of us know. It's a simple story that we all know from our childhood, that there's a three pigs, they go out into the woods, they build a house, a wolf comes by and tries to blow it down, and there's little things that go on with it. But there's something in that that I realized that 75 Hard does that's also related to the three little pig story. Often, if we think of the mindset that we have every day in our life, it doesn't matter what we think. We We probably know words like resilience. We know words like discipline. We know words like hard work. And we maybe don't really understand how to measure them in our life or whether we are that. Or if you're like me, I struggled to even have a resilient mindset. And that resilient mindset was something that I always struggled with. I I just like, how do you build a resilient mindset? I always just kind of felt like the first good breeze that would come by, my mindset would be flat and it would just be a palm tree flat on the ground. But 75 hard taught me something that when you're really building a strong mindset, it is about more about consistency and doing those actions. So what 75 hard did for me in the comparison to Three Little Pigs is it's literally taking the pig that goes out and builds a brick house. It's brick by brick by brick. It's the discipline of doing that extra work every day, every brick to make sure it's just right within that process. That is the building block that overall allows us to get going. And it's that building block that has allowed me to really move forward. Because without that building block, I could say I was the pig with the straw house. I had got to some points in my life where I probably had some stick houses of a mindset. And I was like, you know what? I think I've got it. And you know what? Some some guy comes by or some event happens in my life that's very similar to the wolf, gives a good breeze, and the whole thing comes crashing down. And I'm like, wow. How do I restart? What do I do? How do I get going again? And in reality, what I was really missing was that process of discipline over discipline over discipline over discipline and compounding that brick by brick, like a brick by itself is nothing, but a brick put in within the right process can change everything. And a single day of your life is just a single day of your life, but compound that over 75 days, you've got something that's completely stronger than you've ever had in your life. Like there's been things this week that happen and I, they just kind of roll off my my back now because I've been doing this. Like I had to fight myself every day to get these five things done. And when you go on that journey to fight yourself, those five things every day, you realize that there's just a lot that you're leaving on the table. And so this week's message is really, I want to challenge you. What type of house in the three little pigs are you building? Are you building a straw house or an, and you all know how that ends up? It blows down in the first breath by the wolf. Are you building a stick house? Do you think that you can just kind of find a few shortcuts in life and get that same result that everybody else has? Most likely, you probably tried it and had the same results that I did. Or are you going to identify something? And it doesn't have to be 75 hard, but are you going to identify how are you going to build a brick house with your mindset? How are you going to take 
those things that happened into your life and build them up in a way that allows you to take whatever life can give you. And it's so important because life is going to give you more than you can handle. And you need that solid wall foundation to be able to hold it. There's so many different, think of it just from a weather event. Think of all the different things that can happen in weather. A straw house is not going to keep out the rain. The straw house, even if it wasn't the wolf, a good breeze coming by would mess it up. The stick could probably hold up to the wind a little bit, but it's not going to go hold up much to the rain. But the brick house, where he was diligent, he knew he needed to put in the work. And if you listen to Jocko, you know that his major tagline is that discipline equals freedom. And the third pig could sit in his house and just be with the house. Like he didn't have to worry about the wolf coming by. He knew he had done the work. And that's how I feel on the other the other side of 75 Hard. I feel in a way that I've never felt before because I feel that life is, I mean, it's a certainty. Life is going to continue to give me more than I can handle. And I have a tribe to help share the load with, but I need a mindset that can keep going. Because if I don't have a strong mindset to keep going, I'm going to continue to feel just like an emotional muck. And again, if you checked out last week's Father, Fatherhood Friday, you know that during that journey that I had to dig deeper because those five things are not things that you want to do every day. I can't tell you how many times I would go down to the basement. I'm just like, man, is it 75 days yet? Because I am so tired of coming down here and doing my workout. But that was a feeling. That wasn't an action. That was just a feeling. And what 75 days teaches you, you got to do the work despite the feeling, just like the pig in Three Little Pigs, he had to lay the bricks. Maybe he, he probably didn't like doing the extra work, and he's probably like, oh, man, my brother's probably got it figured out. They're doing it the easy way, and I'm just the dumb guy here doing it the hard way. And then fast forward, you all know the ending. He ends up being the guy that has the better mindset. He has the better house, and he ends up being the one that can shelter others because he did the work. And if, even if you think about like someone, if that's a good analogy there, we're doing the work and protecting like the people that can protect us in society today are people that put in the work daily. They go to the gym. They're the men and women in uniform, whether it be the, the military, the police, firemen, all of them put in reps every single day to ensure they're ready when someone comes, when the wolf comes by and blows them down. They need to be ready. And so they train for it daily. And so if you're a veteran listening to this and you're wondering, how do you move past the emotion that you're feeling? How do you take action despite that? I want to remind you something that's super powerful that I use in many days on this 75 hard journey, that you are more than what you feel. I want to say that again. You are more than what you feel because what you feel is just a feeling. And that feeling is based on an interpretation of all the years accumulated in your life up to this point. But that feeling does not interpret or predict the future. It only is a perception of how past events have come into your life. And remember that that feeling is just a feeling. It's just up in your head. And when it's up in your head, it means that you can do something about it because it's not real. And the one thing that defeats that emotion is action. So always remember, you are more than the emotions that you feel and you can always take action despite that emotion because that's what you're going to be defined by. When you leave this earth, you're going to be defined by what you left behind. And your actions are going to determine what you left behind. No one's going to remember the feeling at your eulogy and say, man, Ben was feeling really down the other day. They're going to talk about the things that you did, the actions you took. What type of houses were you building? What type of mindsets were you building? Who helped? Who did you help with that mindset? Who did you help with those skills and the actions that you were able to acquire? These are things that we learned in the military, but we often forget to carry on. I know I had this in the military, but it's you can easily get lost once you transition out in the civilian world because these aren't things that people talk about. And so if people aren't talking about them, you don't often see the value in them. So I want to challenge back and think, what type of house are you building from the three little pigs? A straw house, a stick house, or a brick house? Because that is where your mindset is going to be determined, and it's that mindset that is going to determine all the future events in your life. But that mindset that you have today is not defined by the emotion that you feel. It's defined by the action. And that's what I love about 75 Hard because it reprogrammed that idea in my head and it gave me a mindset of a brick house from the three little pigs. So with that, I'm going to wrap up 
and I will talk to you guys again on Monday.